Hey Orchid people, welcome back to El Pilar Orchids. Thanks for checking in guys. I uh, want to kind of just play with the orchids a little bit today because they're like the toys, you know, like you get to fiddle with them. And that's what I'm going to do. Try to collect some pollinia and try to pollinate the Phalaenopsis ambinosa, Phal ambinosa, an awesome hybrid that was registered in 1984. So it goes back a little ways and um, yeah, just a bonus that we just noticed for the first time today, it actually has quite a strong smell. So I'm not sure if we just never tried really smelling it because we don't really have a lot of fragrant fowls and I just don't think about it with Phalaenopsis, but tried smelling our plants more and just today noticed this very strong like Kind of, the boss said household chemicals. So that was like the first thing she said. And yeah, it, it kind of has like a neem oil or a camphor oil. The flower is pretty cool. I love this green and brown flower coloration. I know that's not for everybody. And the columns are just pure white as are the ovaries. But you can see this guy is starting to turn over a bit, like the pollinia have turned green. So I need to get them off right away if I want to use them. Let's get into that. Here's the pollinia packets that have been saving for the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, a couple of them are uh, more than a year old and so they need to get thrown away. And some of them, we just don't really have any interest anymore in the particular plants, or we just collected pollinia without any real plans. And now that we're moving, yeah, time to get rid of some of it, but we just store these in the fridge and I take them and put them in coffee filters uh, and put them up on a top rack in the door of the refrigerator. We've had a couple attempts go with using um, stored pollinia it seems like if you let it sit out for a couple hours and get to room temperature, that has done better for us in getting success. So some of the things that we want to get rid of are the um, Vosner mucca pollinia. Don't really want to do that. Uh, yeah, just because those plants, those flowers don't stay long on the plant. So don't want that trait uh, to be passed on. So it's just a plant to enjoy. Get rid of the pollinia. Don't need to save it. Yeah. Uh, and Parisii, yeah, nah, that's really old pollinia. And we're going to take, um, when we pollinate the ambinosa, we're going to take all of the pollinia off of the flowers. So I can replenish uh, the supply with fresh pollinia from this guy. And yeah, then um, a couple other things throw away. So these are the things I want to keep because um, don't, yeah. And then finally, some of the options of possible um, pollination attempts. Maybe we'll uh, pollinate with Tetraspis green or try with that, see how many pollinia we have in there. And uh, the other potential is Schilleriana. So maybe I'm, I'm curious as to see what would happen with a purplish cross. Quick pause in action. So new blooms, Jennifer Palermo, Fal Jennifer Palermo finally did open up. Much more purple flower than the Germain Vincent, those guys. Um, so yeah, but a very nice little bloom, got one flower only on its first bloom, but hey, looking nice and happy about that, and yeah, hopefully it keeps going and puts on more blooms. Uh, and an odd notice today, well actually I guess about a little over a week ago, but the no ID uh, pink phalaenopsis of the bosses is growing a new spike all of a sudden. So that's not its normal time to start growing a spike, but I guess I'm not going to complain. We'll see when it blooms. All right, so back to the pollination. Let's get right into it. I've made up a little envelope for collecting the pollinia from this guy. So we threw the last batch away. It was from last summer. And now I've started putting a date 
uh, on when I collect the pollinia. So yeah, just a coffee filter. This will go in the fridge with the others that we've saved. And I do try to just collect them because sometimes they'll pop off. Let's see. Like, there we go. So it's stuck to it, and that's good. So I want it to stick to it. And you try to just pull it off down in the bottom, drop it down in, and I'll do that for all of these guys. Yeah, it's nice when they just pop off and fall in. Sometimes it doesn't happen though. And I'm probably gonna pollinate all of these, oops. Maybe that was a self-pollination. Yeah, that's why you want to get the pollen off of the toothpick. This one doesn't want to come, oh, so yeah, see, I just really stuck on it. Just grab it, try not to crush it. Throw it in, whatever. Okay, so got all the pollinia off now down in the envelope. Yeah, they're all down on the bottom. Throw that in the fridge. I'm gonna do two different crosses. This pollinia is really old, so I'm not even sure if it's still good. It's been in the fridge for over a year, uh, but they look okay. And I'll show you, I'm gonna use all of them. And I'll probably put yeah, so this is Shilleriana, if you didn't see from the name. But I'm gonna try to open that without spilling the pollinia around too much. Right. Spin this around, because I want to do the Shilleriana on the three main flowers out front, the oldest flowers. Um, since I have the most pollen from that, so there you go, you can see the pollinia there. Stuck on the bottom of the coffee filter. They do kind of look a little, a little more goldy yellow than I would like, but whatever. Try them anyway. So, uh, yeah, try to get more than one on your fingertip. I just use my finger because I found it to be easier. Holding the flower, stick it up into. You want it to make contact with the surface up inside of that little hood right there. I know I've been digging in the plants. Oh well. Moving. Alright, try another one here. Try it anyway. There, I got two on my fingertip. I'm gonna stuff them up in there. Oh, and see, that's what happens if they aren't attached. But I'll try to stick it up there anyway. See if I can get another one in there. Nope, not gonna stick. Oh yeah, there it goes. We'll see. I don't know, probably not gonna take. That's pretty bad. Uh, normally they should stick. That's why I like to use fresh pollinia because they're a bit stickier. Uh, but, hey, all right. So that was the couple pollinia we had from the Schilleriana. And then I'm gonna do the two flowers here with the green. Now these pollinia are fresher. They're just from a couple months ago. So we'll see if anything takes. Yeah, the taller spike is from the Tetraspis green. So I have to make labels for those just in case anything does take. Probably not. Mostly this was an exercise in just collecting pollinia from the Ambinosa, which I need to take and put into the fridge. Oh, and I was going to try to maybe put some of the fresh pollinia from the Aminosa onto the little sister. 
We haven't had very much luck with the little sister. Go and play with your orchids. Have fun. Try some pollination uh, or collecting pollinia. Maybe to trade with somebody. Yeah, get some pollinia to trade. Anyways, thanks guys. Hope you're having a good one. And we will see you back here at Opelar soon.